I feel like the speeds are going to be close anyway. Like, I feel like it'll kind of be a wash. The, the only thing I would worry about, and I think maybe this might be fun, is if there's a meta of, like, having to toggle in and out of QCM for, like, straights and curve, you know what I mean? That might be annoying. But, um, like, I think in the videos they were, like, boosting the Gladius and it was, like, doubling the SCM speed. It's, like, if boost increases your speed that much, you know, like, I don't know, maybe it would all come out in the wash. Like, it'd be better to boost just to bump up rather than... Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see. But I, I want to play for it before saying... Play it before saying change. Yeah, and, I, and I'm... And who knows, maybe they'll do some changes to it before the actual release. And... Yeah, for sure. And I, I imagine they'd be real open to racing feedback. Like, if we're saying, hey, the... Stuff that's racing tuned should go into an out of QCM in half a second. Oh, or whatever. Yeah, that would be dope. <laughs> They're like, it's like, hey, look, it's a racer. It's got tiny little weapons. It's kind of an interceptor anyway. Yeah, anyway, I, like, I, I think they'll they'll tweak it. I remember when they were doing flight balancing before, they were really open to people being like, hey, these ships aren't fun with these acceleration values, right? Mm -hmm. This was much cool. earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, that that was the balancing they did. That, I might be thinking about the balancing they did either three ten or three thirteen when they did or three fourteen. They tweaked a bunch of stuff with the Atmo flight model. Mm -hmm. but yeah, they were really open to tweaks. So yeah, I, cool. Uh, well, but yeah, now I enjoy.